Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Talk. My name is John, and today we're going to be talking about the latest film from DC, Blue Beetle. This one was directed by Angel Manuel Soto, and it stars Zolo Maraduena as in the lead character of the Blue Beetle. And this is the origin story of the Blue Beetle, a character I didn't really know anything about. As you guys might know, I'm not a comic book guy. I'm a film fan first, so I come to all of these characters through movies, so I only found out about Blue Beetle when the first trailer came out. And I'm not a trailer guy either, so I didn't really check out the trailer, so I went to this film completely blind, and it turns out... I was very pleasantly surprised. This was a damn good movie, easily DC's best film of the year, way better than The Flash in my opinion. It's an origin story that's clearly taking pieces from other origin stories and other films that have come before it. Like this is definitely a marriage between Iron Man and Spider-Man and you could also see Black Panther mixed in here as well. And that could be the most frustrating part because it's really not the movie's fault, it's just that the superhero genre in general has just become so watered down because we get so many of these films each and every year. It's really hard to tread new ground it's very rare even in movies like the batman that came out last year which i think is the best most recent superhero film to come out you know there's still a lot of stuff in that movie that we have seen before but this is just hitting trope after trope after trope you can predict what's coming up in the story about 10 minutes before it happens just because it's happened before there really wasn't any surprises in this movie but that doesn't mean that this movie is a bad film it just means that it's following a template that at this point is a pretty safe bet when it comes to movies like this. It's still very enjoyable. I thought that actually what stood out about this movie in comparison to other movies is the acting and the character development. You really care about Jamie and his family. He's got this really nice, connected, loving family that supports each other. His uncle is played by George Lopez in this movie and he just steals every scene he's in. You forget how funny George Lopez is. I kind of grew up in the era where the George Lopez show was playing on Nick at Night every night. <laughs> I always thought that George Lopez was a really funny comedian, even when he pops up in shows like Reno 911, and I forgot how funny he was until he was in this movie, and he's just doing circles around all the other actors as far as comedic work goes, because the rest of them, you know, they're doing the typical superhero film stuff where we, ha where we have serious moments that get a joke inserted in there that for no reason, just because we want to keep the movie lighthearted, we don't want to go too, too serious, but in the third act, the movie does become pretty serious, and then you really care about these characters, and they're journey and everything that is going on and even the villain yes we have susan sarandon in this movie playing an over-the-top villain with a motivation that just gets passed along in one passing line and that is it but the person working under her basically doing all of her legwork that character actually had a surprising amount of character development and you find yourself caring for him by the very end of this movie and you can't really care about the family by the end of this movie like i said this movie might be firing and hitting on all the movie tropes and all the superhero tropes that you've seen before but this movie movie also has a lot of great character work, a good story, you know, it's just another origin story about a character who just ended up in this situation, he didn't plan for it, he didn't plan to become the Blue Beetle. Blue has the most antioxidants. But he does, he becomes it, and then it, really the rest of this movie is just about him learning to become the Blue Beetle and accepting his fate. That's a big theme of this movie is fate and just accepting your fate, you know, if the, mo the longer you push up against it the worse it is, so you might as well just accept it from the very beginning. And I love that message. I thought the message of that was really good in this movie, and the entire message of the movie was really good. The only thing that really makes this movie stand out is the character work and this the family dynamic. That stuff was way better than any of the Blue Beetle stuff that was going on in the movie. Yes, the Blue Beetle has some cool looking scenes, and the CGI didn't bother me like it does in other DC movies, or especially in Marvel movies right now. The way this movie is filmed, it's got a lot of neon blues and purples and pinks, all stuff that I love. I love neon colors, and this movie is filled with them. Like, even the Blue Beetle suit has blue neon on it. Every layer that they go to, everywhere that they go, has, like, neon blue. The company that Susan Sarandon works for, that company has neon purple everywhere. Absolutely loved all that stuff. That might seem overwhelming for other people, but for me, that stuff always stands out. I'll always go for, like, a nice flashy. This kind of felt like a throwback to, like, an 80s film, even the score. So I really enjoyed that aspect, and maybe I enjoyed this movie more than other people. I just thought that this was a fun trip to the movies, you know? it's August I don't expect to get blown away by much and this movie didn't blow me away it's nothing too special but it's still pretty good in comparison to stuff that we've gotten in the superhero genre recently it's obviously not as good as spider-man across the spider-verse but right now this is probably the second best superhero film to come out in 2023 and it's one that i really enjoyed and it's also one i think you guys are going to really enjoy and definitely if you have nothing to see this weekend you could do worse than going out to the theater and checking out blue beetle and i'm hoping that this character gets more films or gets inserted into the dceu you know james gunn has said that it will be but 
I don't know. That could just be marketing. He also said that The Flash was the best superhero film he's ever seen. So that could just be to push Blue Beetle. And this might be the last we see of him. I just hope that's not true. But if I was going to give Blue Beetle a score of 1 to 10, I would give Blue Beetle a pretty solid 7.5 out of 10. I definitely recommend checking this one out. But it's also Friday, and that means it's time for our Digital Code Giveaway. In Friday's video, I'll ask you guys two Digital Code Giveaway questions. All you have to do is answer one of those in the comment section below. Below, and as long as you do that, you come back to Monday's video, I put your name on a magic wheel, I spin that bad boy two times, the two names it lands on, they have their choice of the digital codes that you've seen on your screen before you today. But what are those digital code giveaway questions? Well, I figure it says this is a DC film. It's supposedly the first film in the DCEU, even if I don't believe that. I want to ask you guys, what is your favorite DC character not named Batman or Superman. So taking Batman and Superman off the table, and I want to know what is your other favorite DC character. And then I figured, you know, this kind of felt like a throwback film from like the 80s and 90s. And I want to know what is your favorite superhero film to come out in the 1980s or 1990s. We'll take everything after 1999 off the table because there's a lot less options before 1999. Once 2000 rolls around and X-Men came out, we were off and running. And then by 2010, that was it. We're getting three a year and now we're in the position that we're in because we've gotten every single superhero character's origin story on film at this point. And as sad as it is, I feel like it's getting a little bit watered down and we might need to pull back the reins a little bit. And I think they're going to do that. I think they've learned their lesson. I don't want to see Blue Beetle bomb at the box office it's projected to, but hopefully it does and it doesn't deserve to because it is a pretty decent film that I think you'll enjoy. So make sure you guys answer one of those questions in the comment section below and then don't forget to come back to Monday's video to see if you are this week's lucky winners of the Digital Code giveaway. And then while you guys are down there answering those questions, just don't forget to hit that like button because that really does help to support the channel and then subscribe to the channel. That's another big way to help us keep growing. And then after you're done doing all of that, I just want you guys to get out in those streets and tell your friends about us. We'll be seeing you around.